Hey guys, so uh, it's November. When did this happen? Holy crap, like I can't, I hate how fast fall goes by because I love fall, but at the same time, Christmas is my favorite time of year. So I'm so excited. Um, but one thing I'm not excited about is cold weather. Besides that though, um, I have some fun things to share with you today for my favorites. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I'm gonna show you candles first just because I'm already holding one. This one I had gotten from Anthropology. It's called Snowflakes and Icicles. It's, um, it says Good Natured Soy. I imagine that's the brand, yes. Um, it's by Illume, actually. So the one downside with this candle is that it burned through really fast, like within a couple of days. Um, I only burned it at night. Yeah, it says it burns up to 24 hours. So I'd say that it's about, that's pretty accurate. Um, it smells a little bit like Bath and Body Works sweater weather. Also, um, I feel like sweater weather is, was um, snowed in, repackaged, but it smells a little bit different to me. But this smells exactly like snowed in to me. It's like just that really nice wintry smell that isn't too Christmassy, it's just a cold weather smell. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but I really loved that candle. I kind of want to repurchase it actually, even though it's kind of expensive. This one I feel weird mentioning in my favorites because I haven't actually burned it yet, but um, I did purchase it earlier this month, so, oh, and I can't wait to burn it. I just feel like it's too early. So this one is called Peppermint Marshmallow and it's from Bath and Body Works. I'm not usually a huge fan of like twisted peppermint, but this one is legit peppermint and marshmallows. So I really like that. It says the notes are crushed peppermint, homemade marshmallow and confectioner's sugar. So I definitely think that's accurate. Plus how beautiful is this bot is this bottle, this um, container. I just love it. So anyways, also, <laughs> I'm just gonna let's just I have no order to my favorites videos this little guy not not so little guy it was from paper chase downside um, it's a glitter bomb and every time I touch it I get glitter all over myself but I freaking love this so paper chase used to be sold at borders bookstores back in the day um, now it's a little bit harder to find. Sometimes they have collections for Target, although I haven't seen any recently. Um, but you can still buy their stuff on their website. They do ship to the US still, and it's not expensive to ship or anything. It just takes a little bit longer. But um, they always have really cute ornaments and stuff, and I got a couple things last year. And uh, I freaking love this deer. It is so cute, and it's very me. You know, I love anything like kitschy and Christmassy, and I love anything with deer on it as well. I'm a deer junkie. In fact, that's my Halloween costume this year. It's actually not Halloween. It's get, probably going to be November when I upload this, but um, I'm going trick-or-treating with my nieces and I have my makeup all planned out. I practiced it and everything, so I'm good to go. You know, I always have to mention a tea and I actually ran out of this tea and they usually come out with it every year. So cross my fingers, they're going to come out with it again because if they don't, I'm going to be very upset. Um, this one is Snow Day from David's and um, it's an herbal infusion and it's basically, it's a peppermint tea, but there's kind of like a chocolatey note to it. So it says peppermint leaves, cocoa beans, cocoa husk, chocolate drops, white chocolate pieces, sugar sprinkles, cream flavoring, peppermint oil, natural chocolate, and peppermint flavoring. And it does contain milk, which is funny because... I'm pretty lactose intolerant and I try to avoid um, regular dairy milk um, and I when I make this tea I make it with coconut milk which my favorite one is the so delicious coconut almond milk oh my god it's so good I love it and everything but um, I've just been making this with that and I love it it's really good for when it starts to get cold outside so love that um, another like random thing I finally I wanted this plate for so long and I finally got it it's from West Elm it's by Rachel Kozlowski my bedding in my bedroom which used to be the backdrop of my videos um, is also from West Elm I love West Elm it's 
I like that it's like sophisticated and quirky in equal parts. But um, anyways, I've wanted this plate for a really long time and I finally got it and I've actually been using it to eat off of. It makes me feel fancy. So um, there's that. Last of the random Christmassy things. I know that this is an October favorites, but I get started on Christmas stuff early. Um, I had gone to World Market and they had lots of Christmas stuff out already. My favorite thing I picked up was this little ornament. It's kind of hard to see because it's reflective. I have a photo of it on Instagram as well, but it's just this little, um, what do they call these, a cloak? I'm, I'm um, no. Oh, I don't remember what they call them. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. So I just love this. It's so, you know, vintagey looking, but pretty. World Market always has great um, decorative items as well. I'm a big fan of World Market. <clears throat> and they have a lot of fair trade stuff too, so you can feel good about shopping there as well. Um, speaking of places where you can kind of feel good about shopping there, uh, Lush came out with their holiday collection. I actually, I just was popping into the mall at Water Tower Place to get out of the rain one day and Lush had just put out their Christmas stuff and I had no idea that they were going to. I wasn't, I didn't even, I don't even know what they were coming out with this year and it was a very pleasant surprise and I'm actually pretty pleased with the stuff that I got and um, this is all that I got I think and they're all my favorites so that's a good sign. Um, this bubbly shower gel smells amazing and one thing that I love about Lush shower gels is that they do linger on your skin afterwards. Um, this one is really moisturizing. Some of Lush's shower gels are really kind of thin and runny. This one is nice and thick. Um, it smells to me, it says it contains vine leaf infusion and grape juice. To me it smells just like I love juicy shampoo. So if you're a fan of that, I think you will like this. Next, I got the Snow Fairy body conditioner, which I've never really was that big of a fan of Snow Fairy. It's like too sugary sweet for me. But I like this in a body conditioner though. And it has kind of a shimmer. You can see it more in the lid that it has like a shimmery quality to it. It doesn't make your skin look shimmery though. It's just kind of pearlescent. Um, but what I like about this is it's a nice, easy, a lot of times I forget to moisturize after getting out of the shower, but this way I do it in the shower, pop out and my skin is nicely moisturized. Just remember to rinse it off. Otherwise you're going to feel greasy. The next thing is the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub, which smells just like the comforter. And I actually have been using this quite frequently. I feel like with stuff like this, I'll get it and I'll be like, why did I buy that? I'm never going to use it. But I have been using this and it tastes delicious too, oddly enough, because you can eat these. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I wouldn't like recommend getting a spoon, but like you put it on your lips and then you can lick it off. So, um, the last thing is the Papa Noel face jelly. Stay radiant all winter with fresh brightening lemon and orange. And this is a face cleanser. I'm not going to pull it out to show you because I've already torn mine up and I've been using it to wash my face, but you can pull the whole thing out and it makes a Santa beard, <laughs> which is kind of random. But what I've been doing is I just break off like a little piece and I get my hands wet and then I just rub it all over my face. It's kind of a weird a way to clean your face, to be honest, but it's kind of fun and it smells really yummy and it actually lathers up really nicely and it um, is, I can, it's safe to use around my eyes. I haven't had any sensitivity there and I've just been really enjoying using this and you get a ton. I mean, honestly, like it's going to take me the whole year to use this up. I feel like there's so much product in here. So good bang for your buck. Next thing, let's move on to beauty stuff now, shall we? Uh, this nail polish is not actually what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing one from H&M that I can't remember the name of. I will put the name in the info box though. This one though, I wore for a very long time this month and I got so many compliments and questions about it and it is called Baroque Babe. It's um, Sephora Formula X and it's from the Huda, Huda? Huda Beauty Collection. Um, I The last time I went to Sephora it was sold out so um, I think you can probably still get it online though. You know I didn't bring it up here but I should have the Essie Gel Top Coat, the one in the white kind of strangely shaped bottle. I bought that on recommendation of Ashley. Um, 
makeup that is all and she said how good it was oh my god it is the best top coat I've ever tried it's such a nice formula and literally I, I think I had this nail polish on for like almost three weeks and the only chipping I had was where I had snagged my nail or where I had regrowth like I had no like it lasted so long so I definitely recommend that as that an awesome awesome top coat next thing my favorites are so random this month this perfume it is by Britney Spears and it is called private show and the bottle is not as tacky as some of her other bottles but I always completely ignore the celebrity endorsed fragrances and stuff like that like I especially at the drugstore I'm just really picky and usually I don't like really popular perfumes but this one there was a paper sample in Cosmopolitan I think Zoe Deschanel is on the cover S try that because that's what made me want to buy this and it's super inexpensive but it's kind of it's kind of a gourmand I used to like Britney Spears perfumes when I was a lot younger but this one this one's good I like this a lot and it lasts pretty well as well it's not too like cloying so yes I um, recently went to Marshall's and picked up this was part of a trio of brushes I'm always seeing these brushes on Instagram and it was just one of those things where I was like I'm curious and these look fun so I got this, this, this set this is my favorite one of the trio and I really like this for blending my under eye concealer and I've actually been using it to do setting powder as well because I don't like to set my whole face I just like to set my t-zone and I feel like it's really easy to just kind of bloop, 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 with my powder so I have really been enjoying this um so that's that the next thing I have two things from Lancome I feel like Lancome does not get enough buzz on the interwebs I practically ever hear practically never hear anyone talk about Lancome stuff which is surprising because like their mascaras for one thing are by far the best high-end foundations on the market I love the um primer as well but this eyeshadow came out as part of their holiday collection how gorgeous is this packaging um this is called the petite tresor uh sparkling color and it's in the shade 26 brune glace i should have just held this up the whole time because that's a hard name to remember but look at this beautifulness it was more beautiful before i used it <laughs> But oh my god, okay, I'm gonna swatch it for you too, just so you can kind of swing. So it looks like that. I have it on my inner corners right now, and I used it as a highlight. I kind of put a little Becca Moonstone over it because it's a little bit too dark for a face highlight for me. It's really beautiful as an eyeshadow as well, you can kind of see, and it can be used um, wet or dry. This is a very light swatch. I just barely dipped my finger in it, so um, it doesn't really give you the full intensity. That you can achieve from it but i just think that's really pretty i don't buy single eyeshadows barely ever but um i've really been enjoying that i also wanted to mention again i've mentioned this so many times but i can't mention it enough because no one ever talks about it it's the lancome taunt idol ultra wear makeup stick and i use the shade 140n and the only thing about this that i hate is that you go through it super fast this is the third tube I've used of this and it's as you can see I've used a lot but all I do is kind of bloop, 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 all my face all over my face I don't know what's up with the bloop bloop bloops today I've been saying that a lot um, but I just do that and then I use my real techniques um, brush and kind of buff it in you can use a whatever kind of brush or sponge or whatever you use but um, I think this lasts super well it's by far the best stick foundation I've ever tried I feel like it's the best high-end foundation I've ever tried and nobody ever talks about it it's so good so get a sample from Sephora you guys seriously so um, the next thing I wanted to mention for face is the Becca multitasking perfecting powders I've been really into Becca like powdery stuff lately <laughs> I like their I love her highlighters and I love um, the Tiger Lily blush so much it's like my favorite blush this year um, but I was kind of playing with these at Ulta and I got this one in the shade tan 
and I thought it would be really nice as like a bronzer type shade. And um, I just kind of use it all over my face because it's kind of lighter. The only thing I wish is that they had more cool tone shades because I feel like they definitely lean warm. And the only kind of cooler tone shade was super, super dark. <laughs> so I wanted one that was kind of more gray toned because I feel like it, they would make really good contour powders. But as of right now, I like it as kind of a bronzer. And I actually got the shade... Um, warm honey as well because I liked this one so much I should have brought that one up too but I used that kind of to darken this area here so um they also I've been using them as eyeshadows as well so they're kind of pricey but they are worth the money in my opinion so just be careful not to drop them because Becca powders break really easily <laughs> so the uh next thing before I get into lipsticks and I have something I hate as well this month so um this is something that I've mentioned many times, but again, I feel like it's worth reiterating. It is the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Cream Eye Color in the shade Leo Brown. It's slightly, slightly not matte in the pan, but on the eyes, I feel like it goes on pretty matte, but I pretty much use this as a base for any kind of mustardy or orange tone, any kind of eyeshadow look like that. And I felt like it was getting dried out and I'll just put a little bit of um, coconut oil or anything like any kind of oil in this just a teeny bit and kind of mix it in with it and instantly it's rejuvenated so highly recommend this I love it I used it on my eyes today under lime crime mustard eyeshadow and then I used the Anastasia Mario palette as well so the next thing only a couple more guys. This is the um, Orbe Lip Lust Lipstick in the shade The Nude. Um, can we just sit in awe for a moment of this packaging and how glorious it is? Holy moly cazoli. So I've used it already, but this lipstick is such a beautiful nude and it's probably the best tasting lipstick I've ever tried. Literally vanilla cupcake beautifulness the only thing i will say is that when i wore it for a full day it did kind of make that little line in the center of the lips that i completely hate but i still love it i bet the darker shades wouldn't do that there's a red and a dark violet shade as well but you know i had to get the nude so this is definitely a splurge item but in my opinion it's worth the splurge it's up to you whether you think it is or not but i thought it was worth mentioning I am a lipstick girl. I will be right back with the rest of my favorites. Sorry about that. I realized I forgot to bring something back over here that I took away. So um, the next thing I wanted to show you, I'm a big fan of the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Colors. They're a really great creamy lipstick formula and they have a really good shade range. The only thing I don't love is that they have kind of a weird scent. It's kind of lemony, sort of. But um, this one is the shade Uber Nude, and it's part of the holiday collection. I believe it's called Hot Chocolate. Um, but this shade, I can't remember if I said already, it's called Uber Nude. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It's such a great kind of brown, beige nude. I just love it. So I swatched all the lipstick I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you again because I want them to dry down. But um, the f next thing I want to show you... I'm very conflicted about. <laughs> so this is the new Tart Tartist matte lip paint, which they have the Tartist lip paints that are kind of moussey. And I like those, but they're kind of messy and they don't dry down. And I just don't usually reach for them because they're kind of high maintenance. Um, if you're going to try one of those, I recommend TBT, which stands for Throwback Thursday. That's probably the best shade in the range. But um, this is one of the new ones. It's called Bestie. It's a really pretty color. Just has a basic doe foot applicator. It's a little bit, oh no, it's got a little divot in it. But um, what I hate about these though, this this actually, is, I, ha I have three shades. This is the best of the three shades I have, but they are so desert dry. They completely strip your lips of all moisture. And I've tried a lot of matte liquid lipsticks and I feel like it's almost the worst formula I've tried, particularly these, these other two colors. 
because this color is still kind of, is, it, I still like this and I wore it yesterday, so that tells you I'm willing to give it a try. It doesn't feel sticky or anything, but um, the other two shades, I'm, I'm willing to, to look at the other shades in the range because these ones just might be like the worst two in the range. I'm willing to accept that that might be the case, but the other two shades I got are Salty and Vibin. I'm planning on returning them, so I don't want to pull them out to swatch them for you again. I swatched them on Instagram already. Um, it's the lightest shade in the range and one of the darker shades. The darker shade is a streaky, streaky mess. They're, it's a very thin, very lightweight, or not lightweight, because it's just very thin and liquidy, and it's very hard to get an even application. Both of these shades are really streaky, and Salty just made me look completely... It was so horribly unflattering on me. And Vibin was just so uneven and patchy and both of them were dry as a desert. So I was very disappointed in those. I feel like a lot of times I get super excited about Tarte products and almost always they let me down. So I don't know. I just wanted to give you an honest opinion because I know I'm seeing a lot of, um, sorry, there's a hair in my mouth, a lot of posts on Instagram about Tarte right now. They sent a lot of vloggers to Bora Bora and I'm not sponsored in any way by any brand that I talk about, so I will be completely honest when I tell you I completely love something, which is usually what I tell you. I'm being honest about that, and I'll be honest if I say I don't like something either. So, um, the next brand, though, is an independent brand that blows those tart abominations out of the water. These are, um, you can tell that I'm obsessed because I have six of them already. These are from Give Me Glow Cosmetics and it's their liquid lipsticks. I have six shades. I'm not going to, I swatched all these on my Instagram as well, but they are beautiful. I want to show you the applicator too, because I think the applicator is part of what makes these so fantastic. It is a th Thin, like it's double-sided it has a thin side and a wider side and it's kind of flat I think this kind of applicator is so great for being precise with applying and these go on so smooth so even they 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 feel dry after a while I mean it's a liquid lipstick they all do but it's such a nice formula so I'm just gonna show you real quick these are all the lipsticks that I showed you this is the Oribe Lip Lust in the Nude. This is the Bobbi Brown Uber Nude Lux Lip Color. This is the Tarte Lip Paint in Bestie. These are all Gimme Glow Cosmetics shades. This one is Daddy, which is supposed to be a dupe for Kylie's um, Lip Kit in Daddy, or in Daddy and Ginger. And then this one is Lana, which in my opinion is very similar to um, Allison by Anastasia, but I find it a little bit more flattering on me. It's just a tad bit lighter. This one is called Whiskey and Honey, which I think is a super unique shade. Probably the closest thing I have to it is Lime Crime Shroom. And then this one is Pumpkin and Spices. Sorry, these swatches are so small. Like I said, I did swatch them on Instagram as well. This one is Oktoberfest, which is kind of a metallic gold shade, which is really pretty. And then this one is Sweater Weather, which is a deep kind of um, berry shade. Sorry, it seems like it's not focused. But yeah, I'm a big fan of those and I can't wait to check out more. If you've tried those, um, I'm really interested in trying out some more like nude type shades in the range. So give me recommendations. Um, you can see I'm still loving chokers as well. And then I like this. I'll show you my top too, because it's so cute. It's a little peplumy top from Target. So, um, oh yeah, you guys love when I mention books in my videos, although clearly you don't love when I make a video solely about books because like nobody watched my <laughs> fall book video, which made me really sad because I was so excited about it. But um, anyways, I haven't actually finished a book this month. I've been very indecisive in my reading patterns. So I thought I would show you what I'm reading right now and what I am planning on reading next since you guys seem to be interested in that. I'm currently reading... The Haunting of Hill House. Almost done with it. That's how far I am. Um, it's just a little bit of a slower read. It was written in the 50s and Shirley Jackson is not like a twist at every turn um, like that kind of horror writer. So 
Uh, it's just taking me a little bit longer to read it, but I am enjoying it so far. I wouldn't be still reading it if I wasn't. And then this one I found at a local bookstore. It's called I'll Tell You in Person. It's by Chloe Caldwell. Um, Lena Dunham apparently is a big fan of her. I'm not actually a big fan of Lena Dunham, so I don't know if that's a selling point to you or not. But um, her essays are really quick to read and pretty fun to read. Um, I kind of stopped reading because she started to bother me a little bit. That's the problem with people that are super honest in essays is it's like when you're so honest, you are also unlikable sometimes because we're human and we all are not likable all the time. But it's just one of those things. So I don't know. I still recommend it, though. And I'll let you know when I'm actually finished with it. Next on my list, I know it's shameful, but I have never read anything by Stephen King. I've seen lots of Stephen King movies. But I thought I'd start out with short stories. And this is Night Shift. My mom actually got this for me when I told her I'd never read Stephen King, because she's read a lot. And she was like, you have to. So um, you know, I'm a big fan of scary short stories. So let's see how that goes. And then the next one is kind of different for me. I'm not usually a big reader of chiclet. But this one is called The Regulars. I actually hate to call this one chiclet too, because it really doesn't seem like that to me. It's called The Regulars by Georgia Clark. Basically, it's about three women who, um, it says they just all of a sudden kind of magically become gorgeous. And it's says how their lives change and then it's supposed to have kind of a feminist spin on it so it just has really good reviews on Amazon I love the cover not gonna lie um a lot of times I hear about books I know you guys um a lot of times like my book recommendations a lot of times I find out about books just from reading magazines um a lot of times I'm not really into fashion magazines, but I'll just flip to the book review section. <laughs> I also really love the book recommendations from Entertainment Weekly, usually. Cosmo actually has good book recommendations, usually. Um, yeah, just kind of poke around. Also, Goodreads is a good idea for checking out book recommendations. So yeah, this video is going to be a million hours long, so I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> um, I will see you guys soon. I hope you guys had a fun Halloween, and uh, bye!